Hi everyone, welcome to today's class. Today we have another nice exponential challenge, another nice algebraic problem. The question reads, bracket up in x to the power of 2 plus 1 close bracket all to the power of 2 equal to bracket up in 99 to the power of 2 plus 1 close bracket all to the power of 2. What that will be the possible values of x? Now, we have been taught in this class that the highest power of the variable in any exponential equation gives us the numbers of solution or root to that exponential equation or to that problem. Now, if you look at this, if we use this to open up everything here, we discover that the highest power of x is going to give us 4. So here we are asked to look for 4 values of x to this exponential challenge. So how do we solve that here now? So let's go straight to the board without much waste of time. So take a solution here. Right, so if you knew yet, this is online mass TV where we roll out good solutions, step-by-step -step guide to solving mathematical challenges all the time. And my name is Jake's Animal. All right, so yeah, from this expression we have here, I want to bring in two alphabet to represent each of these. So one alphabet for this, one alphabet for this. So we'll start off by saying let, let's take A this time around. Let's A be equal to x to the power of 2 plus 1. Then let B be equal to the quantity in the second bracket, which is 99 to the power of 2 plus 1. And so we can rewrite the original equation. Stores this, we now give us here your A to the power of 2 equal to B to the power of 2. Easy. Move this to this side of the equation. So we now have your a squared, then minus b squared equal to zero. Okay. Now, when you see a thing like this, what comes to mind is the difference of two square, right? Good. So we will be taught also that if you have, let's take p squared minus q squared. This is equal to p plus q plus bracket, the bracket p minus q. Okay, so we can apply that rule here. So if we apply that here, then we're going to have this to be A plus B plus bracket, bracket, your A minus B, everything equal to zero. Now we now go back to the original equation, which is this, where we said, let A be equal to this. So wherever we see A, let's replace it with this, and wherever we see B, let's replace it with this. Okay, so if we do that, we are we cannot have this equation here, this expression here, to be um, bracket up in, where is our e? x to the power of 2 plus 1. Then we bring our plus sign here, plus b is 99 to the power of 2 plus 1, plus bracket into, again, a we have x to the power of 2 plus 1. But here we are having a minus sign, so we have minus, let's put this bracket, your 9, 9 squared plus 1, close bracket, everything equal to 0. For us not to be confused, let's put this in the square bracket. Okay, we can add this one and this one together. So this first expression gives us x squared plus 99 squared plus 2, close bracket. This other side, let's open up this bracket here. So we have this to be your x squared plus 1 minus 1999 squared minus 1 plus bracket everything equal to 0. So this and this will leave. So we are now left with your x to the power of 2 plus 99 to the power of 2 plus 2 plus bracket bracket x squared minus 99 squared close bracket, everything equal to zero. Now, if you look at this, on this side, we can apply the difference of two square again. But what do we do here? So here's going to pose some challenge, but it's very easy, we're going to handle it. Okay, all we just have to do is to handle these two terms here now. We look for the square of 99 and add it to this and rewrite this expression to look like this. Okay, so if we, Find the square of 99, that will give us um, 909,801, um, right? So we're going to have this to be 
your x to the power of 2 plus 9801, okay, then plus 2, close bracket, bracket a square minus 9, 9 square. All right, so let's continue on this side of the bird. Let's see what this gives us. So from here, we can add these two together now. So our expression thus now becomes, um, or now implies that our bracket x squared plus this plus this will give us 9, um, 8, 0, 3. Okay, we are adding this to this. Okay, the bracket, bracket x squared minus 9, 9 squared equal to 0. Easy. So what we do next here now, all we just have to do here is to think of rewriting this expression we have here. Okay, then I want to bring in a minus sign into this. So I can rewrite this as bracket x squared minus bracket minus your 9803 close bracket. But let's put this in a square bracket. Okay, then bracket x squared minus 9, 9 squared, close bracket, equal to 0. If I use this to multiply, it will give me plus. So this has not changed the system. Right? Good. Now, because I'm trying to bring something of this kind here, I want to square this. And for me to square this expression, I must include a square root sign. So I can rewrite this I have here as bracket x squared minus okay the square root of minus nine eight zero three okay all right so mind you this is square let's close our square bracket into x squared minus nine nine two this go to zero now let's look at this carefully i can use this to cancel out this square root which will take me back to this Okay, now I can bring out minus 1 from here. So minus 1 times 9803, that will give us minus 9803. But remember that our square root of minus 1 is equal to iota. Remember this? That the square root of minus 1 is equal to iota. So we can bring in iota here to eliminate this minus here. So we can now rewrite everything here as x squared minus okay the, the square root of your 9803 iota r squared okay let's put this in the square bracket again then into our x squared minus 9 9 r squared everything equal to zero okay you now discover that we now have here square we have here square and we have a minus sign here here we have a square we have a square and we have a minus sign so we can apply the difference of two square to each of these quantity or entity here now easy okay so remember our difference of two square again we cannot toss write this expression as bracket x minus okay let's take the plus first Blocks our square root of 9803. Okay, iota close bracket bracket x minus the square root of 9803 iota. Okay, close bracket the bracket. Yeah, we have x plus 9 9 close bracket bracket then I take the second one there yeah we have x here minus nine nine close bracket equal to zero you know see we are now having our four quantities one two three four so what does that mean it also means that we equate each of this one to zero according to the zero product rule Remember the zero product rule, we say that if you have a dot b equal to zero, then a is equal to zero, or you have your b equal to um, zero. Remember this? Okay. So if you remember this, then let's forge ahead and put each of these terms to zero. So thus we now have x plus square root 
of 9803 iota is equal to 0. Then we now have this other side x minus the square root of 9803 iota equal to 0. Then we have x plus 99 9 equal to 0. And the last one we have x minus 9 9 equal to 0. Okay, we are almost there. So what do we do? We cannot get our final answers. So from here, therefore, we now have our x1 is equal to, send this to this side of the equation. But let's start with the um, array root. Okay, so here we're going to have our x to be your positive 99. Okay, s2, so we have our x2, we now give us what? We send this to this side to give us minus 99 and our x3 will now give us a positive one for this which is the square root of 9803 iota and our x4 will give us minus the square root of 9803 iota. So we have a solution to this nice exponential expression here. Yeah. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, that here we are expected to solve for four roots. Look at the answers here. I've gone ahead to impute them to the equation and they all satisfy the equation. If you learned something from this video, give the video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe. Remember, I'm your friend, Jake's Anemo. And every one of us at Online Mass TV loves you. Bye for now.